Welcome to this latest edition of Doorway to the Paintings. And uh, I'm skipping the intro. I just want to see if I like doing it that way better. And uh, just get right into it. Show you this painting. This uh, is a classic werewolf painting, but it's got my own unique style and my own unique way of doing things. And I painted this a number of years ago. I painted this, uh, I'm just guessing, probably maybe eight to 12 years ago, or might not have been that long, but somewhere around there. But uh, I love the style because I've all, ever since I was a kid, I grew up watching uh, American Werewolf in London. Even though this is, this is a different type of werewolf, this is a upright uh, wolf. And then, of course, I watched uh, uh, the original Wolfman with Lon Chaney Jr. And uh, one of my favorites, uh, all those are one of my favorites, or a couple of my favorites. I also like The Howling. I, I like that movie a lot. I like the style of The Howling. And uh, I think American Werewolf in London and The Howling uh, were probably my two favorite werewolf movies, perhaps. But uh, Silver Bullet was good. And then Bad Moon was good and uh, Curse of the Werewolf with Oliver Reed. That was another good one too. But yeah, this um, is really one of my favorite paintings. Out of all the werewolf paintings I've done, this has got to be in my top, um, probably top two or three, but probably in the top two is more like it. I just like everything about it. I like the, the moon, the trees look really interesting, have a lot of character. The house, a little cottage. A little cottage back there. I like this tree here in the background. It's kind of got a little light cast on it. I love these trees too, the dark. The, I, I, if you see my paintings, you'll know that I like to put dark trees, black trees, and then the background, there's a contrast. You have light in the background, and then it really makes the trees show up, and then the leaves and the vines. I love that, and it's one of my favorite things to do, and um, ways to paint trees. It's one of my favorite ways to paint them. But that tree back here, the light hits it, and illuminates it. It's way in the background. I love that. It's almost like you're really in the forest. And you have the moon. And uh, let me give you a better shot, more of a close up shot of this one. There you go, and you get a close up of, of the cottage and that tree in the background. Multiple trees, you could see trees back there in the mist, in the darkness really like those and you got the moon love these trees too they just that contrast along with the fog and how the light comes in that's really good and uh, I love the leaves the green leaves you have the vines and you have roots too of trees you have these roots here and you have this stone walkway to the cottage. And then here's a close-up. I love this werewolf. I think this is one of the best, if not um, my favorite werewolf that I've done, just for the look. You could see the detail on the leaves here. It's got good detail. For some reason, my camera is having a problem focusing. I don't know, maybe it's not enough light or maybe it's just the way I'm holding it. But yeah, look at the teeth, the face, the teeth. Come on, camera. The teeth, the eyes, the claws, the hair. Yeah, I really like it. With my paintings, you know, I have a combination of uh, impressionism and realism that I like to deploy. I like to do both. 
some of my paintings I rely more on impressionism, others I rely more on realism. This is a good combination of both. You have realism with the kind of the mist and the trees and uh, the fog, the light from the moon. You have impressionism by the way the roots here curve and it gives them character, gives them style by the, how they loop around. So this is, I like this, it's a good combination of realism and impressionism mixed together. And that's why I like my own art so much. <laughs> I like my art a lot, not because I think I'm a better artist than others, it's just because I paint my taste. I paint what I enjoy and what I would like to see. I like a balance. I don't like my paintings to look like a photograph because you might as well just take a photograph. I like to create. I like to invent more than that. So I like to add impressionism in there with it. Good combination of both. Um, it's more artistic that way. I think it's more creative when you, you can create and invent. So I do a combination of both because I like both, but I'm right in the middle, which is where I like to be, have that balance, that balance in my art. The leaves, the vines, I think there's a vine in there. The moon. Really like this. The cottage makes me sleepy. It looks very comfortable. <laughs> you have the smoke coming out of the chimney. Is a person in there sleeping, or is this his cottage and he came out of it? Or is he stalking outside and who knows? The light's coming through here and here. There's certain movies. I, th I think The Howling had good photography. The light, the way the colors looked, was really good. Yeah, that was a heavy influence on on this, I think, in terms of how the werewolf is shaped. American Werewolf was uh, was very influential in terms of just loving the movie so much. I think it was such a good movie. That was influential, even though this werewolf here is standing upright. Um, actually, Curse of the Werewolf with, all, with Oliver Reed, I like that actually just as much as the original Wolfman with Long Chaney Jr. Yeah, I really like it. It's a good one. And uh, late at night makes it even more fitting. <laughs> now, you don't get in trouble. You have sharp teeth, they're shiny, but don't use them for the wrong reason. <laughs> Yeah, nice dark night. Who knows what could be out in the forest besides wolves. And uh, and also, this is on redbubble.com, this uh, painting. Almost all my paintings, um, if not uh, most of them, if not all of them that you see on the channel here, on my channel, is on redbubble.com. This is on there. And uh, it's on many products. You can get t-shirts with this on it. You can get uh, all kinds of products. I think socks too, if I'm not mistaken. You can get uh, backpacks, travel mugs, werewolf travel mug, <laughs> and uh, a lot of good products. They look really good too. So if you just go to redbubble.com and you get on their search engine, it looks like a magnifying glass and click on it. And then just type in Travis Olson uh, Werewolf or Travis Olson Night Shift Enigma series, Night Shift Enigma 1, 2, or 3, which is that Night Shift Enigma is awesome. I mean, it, it means a lot to me because it was inspired by friends, and then we had such a good time, and I made a video talking about that in the past, and that's on Redbubble as well. I painted so many of those because it's close to my heart. I like those a lot. And uh, this is one of my favorite too, so you know, check it out. I hope you like this video. Uh, like and subscribe, share this video, 
And uh, watch out for the werewolf tonight. And everybody watching, have a good night.